a very good afternoon friends myself s s dubey in the last lecture we deal with the different problems on cam and follower to draw the profile of cam we have already learn about different problems on knife edge follower having a follower motion of uniform velocity we also learn the knife edge follower having follower motion of simple harmonic motion today we are going to deal with the problems on oscillating roller follower having a motion of simple harmonic motion before starting the problem we also know that to draw the profile of cam we followed simple four steps number 1 to understand the statement of the problem number 2 to analyze the data number 3 the calculation part and number 4 to draw the profile of cam so we start over here from the problem here is the problem draw the profile of cam of oscillating roller follower for the following specification follower to move outwards through a angular displacement of 20 degree during the first 120 degree rotation of cam means first of all out stroke is having a 120 degree and having a an angular displacement of roller follower of 20 degree second is follow return to its initial position during the next 120 degree rotation of means what there is no any dwell period from the rise and return the only dwell period is after return to the original position that is followed well during the next that is last 120 degrees of rotation from the 360 the distance between the pivot center and the roller center is 120 mm distance between the pivot center and the cam axis is 130 mm minimum radius of cam is 40 mm the roller which is situated on the cam having the radius of 10 mm inward and outer outward stroke takes place with a simple harmonic motion so here is the construction after understanding the statement of problem we have to concentrate on their analysis we know that the angular displacement of the roller it is at given as 20 degree means 20 into pi by 180 that is pi by 9 radian we know that since the distance between the pivot center and the roller center that is a1 is 120 mm it is already given distance between the pivot center this is a and the roller is uh, roller center it is a1 it is 120 mm therefore the length of the arc a1 a2 that is the oscillation that is the oscillation of the roller of the roller this is the oscillation of the roller so how can it is the oscillation means it is the lift how we can calculate the lift it will be calculated by length of the arc is equal to radius its radius into angle subtended by the arc this is the a1 a2 a2 is the lift of the follower and lift of the follower means this particular angle subtended by this particular arc so length of the arc is equal to radius of arc into angle subtended by the arc that is 120 angle subtended into pi by 9 that is 41.88 mm this is the lift of the follower so after that we have to go for the calculation of the displacement diagram we know that the circumfer uh, circumference is nothing but 2 pi r r is the radius of the cam and it is a 40 mm so circumference is 252 mm then there is a out stroke return stroke any and remaining dwell so what is the out stroke out stroke is contributed 120 degree out of 360 degree same return stroke contributed 120 degree out of 360 degree and remaining will also count count equal part that is 120 degree out of 360 degree so it will ultimately become while drawing the displacement diagram within 84 mm we have to complete the outstroke with the 84 mm complete the return stroke and remaining dwell for the 84 mm 
so how it will become this is the displacement diagram first of all draw the semicircle and make the equal number of parts of that particular semicircle say 6 whatever the number of equal parts same equal parts for the out stroke same equal parts for the return stroke as we know in the problem after out stroke there is a return stroke without contributing the well well is the last part in this problem so out stroke return stroke and well as procedure explained earlier video make the six equal parts of this semicircle draw horizontal line from each point whatever the parts made by the particular semicircle same parts you can make on the this make for the out stroke say six so draw the vertical lines from each point the horizontal line from the semicircle and vertical lines from the outstroke it will intersect each other at different points like a b c d e f g h i j k l m n etc so it, it this completes the displacement diagram the final stage is to draw the profile of the cam number one first of all you have to draw the base circle base circle is nothing but a cam the radius of the cam is already given it is a 40 mm the follower is a roller follower follower is attached to the cam and a roller it is having a roller shape because it is a roller follower and it is a oscillating roller follower the roller having a diameter of 20 mm hence its radius is 10 mm so distance from O to A is equal to 40 plus 10 is equal to 50 mm complete the base circle complete the prime circle which is go through the center of the roller you know that the distance O A1 is already given it is 130 mm with center O in the compass a distance worth 130 mm complete the circular arc after this we also know that the length of the oscillating roller from the fixed center a it is 120 mm so a a1 is 120 mm take the distance 120 mm in compass a as a center and cut the arc a pivot circle at distance at a point a1 join this a1 and a after that we know that out stroke is 120 degree from this particular center a1 to o join a1 o and from this a1 o take the 120 degree this is the out stroke return stroke is followed by our stroke it is also a 120 degree so again 120 degree make equal parts of this out stroke and return stroke say 6 and 6 it will intersect the pivot circle it will intersect the pivot circle at 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash 6 dash etc take the distance a1 o that is 130 mm one as a center and cut the prime circle two as a center cut the prime circle three as a center four as a center five as a center and radius equal to a1 o cut the prime circle at the different points one two three four five six one dash two dash three dash etc up to six dash take the distance from the displacement diagram a0 1b 2c 3c you will get the different points draw the roller or draw the circle from each point after completion after completing this draw a curve smooth curve using french curve or simple freehand 
to touch each and every circle at the bottom and complete the profile this is the oscillating profile for a, any query just comment on my youtube channel thank you